Now, Ray mentioned earlier on that one of his favourite gaming franchises, if not his all-time all favourite, favorite. Yep. is Dead Space. <laughs> now, coincidentally enough, I had the good fortune to have a chat with Gunnar Wright uh, recently, who uh, does the voice of Isaac Clarke in that franchise. Uh, that was at the Heroes and Villains Expo. And how did uh, Ray take that news? Not well. No. There, there was there was some adult content. There was some <laughs> frequent coarse language, and now he's he's not he's talking, not talking to, to me. He's not talking to you at all. No, is he? he's not. He's avoiding me. <laughs> but let's have a look at the interview and check out why. Awesome. Now, I wanted to start off with, obviously you've had kind of an interesting journey into doing voiceovers and acting. Could you tell us a little bit about how you got started, what your journey was into that? Yeah, I started off racing motorcycles, yeah. and my dad's in the motorcycle business and, and moved the family to Los Angeles, and uh, through the motorcycle world, um, I had some friends that their families were into stunts, and it's a natural progression, motorcycle sure. stunts, yeah, and, uh, and that's how I got on a set and I never looked back. Yeah, excellent. Best job in the world. Yeah, so it's obviously something you've enjoyed a great deal once you've gotten into it then. Oh, it's the best. You know, when I, when I was a kid, it's funny because, you know, seeing all these little kids running around, yeah. um, that just took me back to being a little boy and Buck yeah. Rogers and Star Wars and all of the, <laughs> all the, of all the things that I used to watch to escape. Yeah. It's, uh, now I just get paid for it. Yeah, which is nice. <laughs> yeah. So you obviously, you became the, the voice of Isaac Clarke in, uh, in Dead Space yes. too. Um, how is that sort of moving into something that a character that's previously been voiceless, you then have to create something that's going to fit that character that people have got in their minds? Yeah, that was my first, this was my first real chance of um, trying to do something that had a built-in fan audience. Yeah, yeah. And, and really being nervous about that. Are they going to, is, is the Dead Space fan base going to accept me and, yeah. and what I do with the character? So um, I put a lot of pressure on myself. Sure. But at the same time, I mean, you know, they, they were smart. They knew what they wanted. They wanted a guy just to be a normal person. Sure. He's uh, thrusted into some extreme circumstances. And so um, I just, in some ways, just played myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's very much an everyman character, isn't he? Yeah, 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 I can say that. Yeah, and I love those characters. Those are so yeah. rich to me. To play, yeah, so. yeah, they're believable in a way. You can empathize. Sure. Think. Yeah. Um, now, you're obviously, you're in Australia at the moment, yeah. uh, you're promoting Love, which That's is right. a film that you're doing. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so I play uh, Captain Lee Miller, who's an astronaut, uh, left up on ISS Space Station. You don't really know why, uh, especially at the top of the film. Mm. Um, but the same kind of thing, which was so cool. It's like, even though he's an astronaut, he's a normal guy, yeah. thrusted into an extreme circumstance. Mm. And um, it's just a really beautiful film. Will Eubank, the director, did a phenomenal job. It's, yeah. uh, just a really poetic film in a lot of ways. Yeah. And um, with Tom DeLong from Blink-182, Angels and Airwaves, his band scoring the, the picture. Fantastic. It's just a really special project. So, and we're in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the fans are really excited yeah. about the film. So I, it's good to see that you feel the, the buzz. Yeah, you're having a good time in Australia. Oh, having a ball. <laughs> having a ball. Fantastic. So you obviously you got the film going. Are you going to be looking to do more voice work for games in the future, for other things? Yeah, that's or? a good question. You know, I, I, I love playing Isaac Clark. I yeah. actually hope it's the opposite. I hope to play Isaac in a film. That would be cool. That, that would, would be, be very cool. Cool. People would love to say that. But it's great yeah. work. Motion capture, voiceover. I, I love the work. It's in some ways it's challenging in its own right, but uh, come on, man, I'm, I'm living the dream. Yeah, I seriously. got the best best gig in the world. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Everyone will want to do it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> okay. Well, look, thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate hey, it. Hey, I appreciate you guys, and uh, it's great to be in Australia. Thank you.